Hello world, welcome to the 75th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the second video in our Flask playlist, but uh, in this video we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to be creating a Facebook uh, Messenger chatbot using Python and Flask. And so this is just the first part in the video because this will be a lengthy process. And so we'll be doing three things today. The first one will be creating a flask shell for uh, handling the messages and connecting to Facebook. Then step two, we'll be using a program called Ngrok. So to give Facebook access to the local machine and then uh, setting up our Facebook developers page. Now, uh, there's some 2019 tutorials that I've watched. However, I don't know when Facebook officially did it, but there's a lot more requirements to automate this process now. And so we'll be covering that in the next video. So in the next couple of years, my wife and I are planning on opening up our own business. And I would like to have Shane, the digital assistant that this channel is all about, manage the business to include the customer service experience on Facebook. So we would need to make a Facebook chatbot. And so, um, so let's get into that. So step one is to create a Facebook shell using Flask. So we're going to go through that code real quick. And so you will have to pip install Flask if you haven't already done that, but if this is the second video in this playlist, so uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. So from Flask, import capital Flask, and then request. Then um, we'll import request at a later time. And then from a keys, I created my Facebook page page access token, and we'll get into that in a future step. But I keep all my API keys in um, a separate file because I run this YouTube channel and so like for any flask um, program you're going to do app equals capital flask then dash dash name dash dash or underscore underscore name underscore underscore okay don't worry about this Facebook API URL we'll handle that in a few the next video then you'll need to set up what's called a verify token this could be anything this is just the handshake between you and Facebook um, We'll be using a financial genome project. That's my other website. That's a economics and personal finance blog that I tried doing. I kind of abandoned it for now as I focus on this YouTube channel. And then we'll need this page access token that you'll get from the Facebook developers page. But for now, we'll skip that. So we'll create what's called a web hook. And this is to for Facebook to connect to your website and verify the method. So we're going to do this at app.route, this backslash methods equals get. Now as we build this complete, we'll do get and post. Then we're going to create one function called webhook. All right, I'm not going to go through all of this, but basically what it's going to do is if there's a request method that's called get, then we're going to pass this verify token right this verify token then we're going to challenge which just means they're going to communicate and make sure it's the same okay else return this hello youtube we're not connected to facebook if it's not a get it'll just say print 200 that's what this will return 200 all right so that's what this looks like i'll pause here for a little bit i recommend you pausing if you want to so let's run this real quick Okay, just like with Flask, so I have um, right here running on this dash 5000. That is your local machine. So let's click on that. And you'll say, hello, YouTube. We're not connected to Facebook. So what it tried to do was it tried to pass the verify token to something. And it didn't go through. So you got this right here. Hello, YouTube. Not connected to Facebook. So that's step one to create this shell. And if everything passes, 
if you're running this step by step, this will fail. So I would just put leave this uh, blank for now, comment this out. All right, so let's stop that. And so what we did with this 5000 is create something on our local machine, right? We created a website on our local machine. Nobody can access it. Specifically, Facebook can't access it. So what we need to do is step two, download and run a program called Ngrok. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description, but basically it's ngrok.com download. Download years. It'll go to downloads and then un extract it somewhere. Okay, once you extract it, just be careful if you search for it. And let me show you what I mean. So I have ngrok on my computer and it runs .exe. And so right here it's connected to Windows System 32. So if I try to run this command right here, ngrok.exe, and then you type in HTTP 5000 because that's our local machine, it'll say that that's not a recognized command. So what you need to do is search for ngrok wherever you extracted those files and then open the file location okay now double click on it and you'll have the full path so that's how you get to your ngrok so now let's run this program again so you do step one Okay, so like it says, you have your machine working on 5000. Now let's connect to that by going ngrok.exe http space 5000. Okay, I put too many T's on there. ngrok.exe http 5,000. All right, so now what it has done is it created a, it is connected to my local machine. So if we copy and paste this .io in here, you will see, hello YouTube, and we're still not connected to Facebook. But you'll need this to be able to verify with the Facebook developers page. Now you can send this to somebody. I sent this URL to a friend for testing purposes and they'll be able to see this. So it's just not on your local machine. Now, quick warning. I don't know that much about um, the cybersecurity. So you press control C to quit that. And then we're going to quit our um, program. So I don't know about too much about cybersecurity, so be careful when you send that link to somebody because I don't know what kind of access it gives somebody on your local machine. But either way, that's step two, right? So we downloaded and ran ngrok.exe. So step one, we created the Flask shell. Step two, we downloaded and ran ngrok.exe. Now step three is we need to apply for a Facebook Messenger developers. So if you haven't already, go to developers.facebook.com, sign in, sign up, then you'll log in, and then you'll go up here, my apps, and then create your own app. I've already created one called FGP Bot. That's my financial genome project bot. So you'll need to go to products, and you'll need to go to messenger and set that up. So this is where you will get your page access token. So right here, you will need to generate a token, go to your flask and copy it and paste it here, right, as a string. So it's gonna be a huge long number. It's gonna go over 120 digits. If you're using PyCharm, it'll yell at you. So I've stored mine in keys and I called it this Facebook bot page access token. Okay, once you get that token, you are going to go to here and go to webhooks. 
And then it says to receive messages and other events sent by messenger apps, the app should enable web, web hooks integration. So, so what you do before you get to this is you need to go to your step one and run your Flask website, right? Then you will need to go to your ngrok, make sure it has the full path so it recognizes the .ext file, run it, and now you'll have a totally new website. And you need to know this, that every time you use ngrok, it will create a separate uh, URL. And we'll discuss what to do about that in our next video. So then you go to this edit callback, callback URL, copy and paste that .io URL. And then in this verify token, you will need to put this right here. I recommend copy and pasting it so you don't mess it up. So this could be whatever you want. It could be a 120-bit message. It doesn't matter. I just called mine Financial Genome Project. It's up to you. So you type that in here. Then you press verify and save, and it will go through. All right. And then you will have this green webhooks. All right, and that's where we will end this because you need to verificate, verify your uh, information. So I want to just do pages messaging added here. So you need to do a bunch of steps, which is what we'll do in the next video. So three step process. Step one, create the Python Flask URL or um, shell. Step two, download and run the ngrok.exe so you can get this URL. And then step three is to go on Facebook developers page and just perform the webhook function. All right. And then we'll cover the rest in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching me build this Facebook uh, chatbot or you want to continue watching me build my own digital assistant. Please like this video and then leave a comment on how you plan to use your Facebook chatbot. All right. Thanks. Goodbye, world.